How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now. My name is Troy and I really appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. There will be a mass non-compliance when it comes to the ATF's pistol brace ruling. Here I have two pistol braces that I had to take off my firearms so I wouldn't become a felon and then also I wouldn't have to register with the ATF because fuck that. This one here is an SB Tactical and this one here is a SIG TAC. So like I said, I had to take time to take those off my firearms. And so now I have to destroy these or then you can get in trouble for intent. Like people are actually going to do that. I can't believe they actually want people to destroy those pistol braces after spending our hard earned money on them. Pistol stabilizing braces have been on the market for about 10 years now. And numerous times over that period of time, the ATF had ruled that they're legal to own. And then at one time they changed it saying that you could not shoulder these at all. So people end up by using them against their cheek, and I've saw people on video using them against their chest or their stomach. Because that's not shouldering at all. And then after a while they changed their mind and said you could sporadically shoulder it. And now they say by May 31st, 2023, you either have to register them as a short barrel rifle, put a longer barrel on it, which is at least 16 inches or longer, remove the stabilizing brace and destroy it, or turn your firearm in. But they forgot there was one other thing. And that's non-compliance. And let me tell you why there's going to be a mass non-compliance when it comes to the pistol braces. And the ATF knows this as well because I'm using their own statistics to prove this. We all know that in 2017 there was that horrible tragedy in Las Vegas. When someone used a lot of pew pews that had pistol stabilizing braces on them to unalive a lot of people and injured hundreds more. And then in March of 2019 the ATF deemed bump stocks illegal saying that they were machine guns. And we all know that's not true. And by the way, that came from the urging of President Donald Trump at the time. But once again, this is an accessory, as are the pistol braces. And numerous times before all this happened, the ATF said these were legal to own and they weren't machine guns. So this number is directly from the ATF. They said at the time that the bump stocks became illegal, there was roughly 520,000 of them in circulation. And people who did not comply and were caught with them could get up to 10 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. And do you know how many people turned in their bump stocks to the ATF out of those 520,000? Only 546 people turned them in to the ATF. Now for sure, some people destroyed them themselves. But I guarantee you, and you know it too as well, 500,000 people did not destroy those. There are most likely a half a million of those still in circulation today. But yet to my knowledge, and you guys can let me know in the comments, I think I've only heard of one, maybe two people that have been charged with having a bump stock since they've been banned. There very well might be more. It might not have been reported to the news or it was just something reported locally. So there was 520,000 bump stocks and only 546 were turned into the ATF. The ATF estimates that there's anywhere between 10 million and 40 million stabilizing braces in circulation. So we know for sure there's going to be a mass non-compliance with this ruling. And for sure there will be quite a few people that will take advantage of getting a free tax stamp. It'll be a mass non-compliance on a huge level. I should have said this at the starting, but I'm not giving anybody any legal advice or telling you what you should or shouldn't do with your pistol braces. That's up to you. Everybody that I've talked to about this situation says that they're taking their pistol braces off their firearms and are waiting for all the litigation that is going through to the courts in hopes that this will be overturned. But until those go before the court and hopefully it comes out on our side, I guess there might be a lot of boating accidents involving pistol braces or fires or other natural disasters. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts on the story in the comment section down below. And I really do appreciate everybody's support by liking, sharing, and subscribing and hitting those post notifications. And I really hope to see you guys in the next video.